Disney Channel's broadcast service in Southeast Asia came to an end in the early hours of October 1, 2021 Friday, ending the piece of children's entertainment on television. The channel space of both Disney Channel and Disney Junior here on Metroland were replaced by Metro Media TV 1 and Metro Media TV 2 on Paul Bar's lineup. This comes after the media giant made a business review in the Southeast Asian region last April 27. 2021 to consider pushing more people into streaming with Disney Plus, which was launched in 2019. Some cable providers here in the city are not even aware of the Disney Asia shutdown. Dion Tyler has that story. Thank you, Ryan. I am standing here at Old Box headquarters, where we were aware of the Disney Channel Asia shutdown, and tons of subscribers to our service were very upset. We shut off the transmissions of these two defunct channels five minutes after their formal shutdown of these channels, and then Dr. Ariel M. Wallow switched on the transmissions of Metro Media TV 1 replacing Disney Channel and Metro Media TV 2 replacing Disney Junior. Many of the channels set to be shut had joined the group in almost three years ago as part of Disney's acquisition of 21st Century Fox. They include Kids Channel, Disney Channel, and Disney Junior, Fox, Fox Prime, Fox Life, FX, and Channel V, Movie Channels, Fox Action Movies, Fox Family Movies, Fox Movies and Star Movies China, Sports Channels, Fox Sports, Fox Sports 2, Fox Sports 3, Star Sports 1, Star Sports 2, Factual services Nat Geo People and SCM Legend. Only four TV channels are surviving on traditional TV. Star Chinese, Star Chinese Movies, National Geographic, and Nat Geo Wild. Again, this was happened after the media giant made the business review in the Southeast Asian region since April 27, 2021, to focus on their streaming services and direct to consumer model. Millions of Southeast Asian viewers will lose their source of entertainment and entertainment, including kids media when Disney shuts 18 television channels in their region on Friday, the 1st of October 2021, while they are needing entertainment to keep themselves and their children entertained amid the COVID-19 pandemic. This is a big impact towards the Southeast Asian audiences who's only having basic cable subscriptions and others not being ready to move on to the new technology. This is even more worse than the shutdown of the Philippine media giant, ABS-CBN, wherein being ordered to shut down their free television and radio broadcasts last May 5, 2020, one day after their 25-year franchise was expired, due to a cease and desist order issued by the National Telecommunications Commission, and the killing or denial of the franchise renewal application by the House of Representatives of the Philippines with 70 to 11 votes last July 10, 2020, and the Supreme Court dismissed the temporary restraining order to stop the cease and desist order last August 28, 2020, that forced the company to retrench many of the employees and the broadcast commission to recall all of the frequencies assigned for ABS-CBN for not having the valid broadcast franchise. Disney Channel Asia was first shut down in Singapore last June 1, 2020 due to an expiration of contraction towards Singtel and Star Hub, and then on January 1, 2021 in Malaysia on Astro, the sole cable TV operator that formerly carried the three former TV channels, Disney Channel, Disney XD and Disney Junior, which in the middle, Disney XD was closed in Southeast Asia on the same day. Disney Channel Asia was first launched on September 1, 1996, as a test initial broadcast in Singapore, and officially launched on January 1, 2000, and expanded to Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, Vietnam and finally the Philippines. It was a pretty smooth launch and broadcasting service for more than 25 years until this day, the day that made the big impact on cable TV in Southeast Asia. The last TV you show aired on the Southeast Asian that. feed of Disney Channel was the rerun of the episode of Star vs. The Forces of Evil, which was airing oh, at 12.30 a.m. until 1 a.m. Now, give me some porridge. I think Earth is a pretty great place. That's saying something, because I've been through outer space. I think it suits me, it's just my style. I think I'm going to stay a little while. I think that strangers are just friends you haven't met. I'm blasting monsters and I never break a sweat. I'm really thinking I could go this At 1 a.m. strikes, home. Disney Channel Asia was officially gone off the air after 25 years of service, showing off the static screen. 
case of the Royal one Scarf from Disney is closed. Jr., Thanks which the last TV show detective. airing on this Everyone, channel was the rerun of the episode the from Mirror but Royal Detective. Let us go to the interviewers about this media giant shutdown in part. And here we are, now for the first interviewee, which is Ethan Kalalov. Ethan, tell us your thoughts about the Disney Channel Asia shutdown. Well, I heard about my childhood channel Disney Channel shutdown announcement. I felt so broken hearted after that channel along with Disney Junior was shut down, and it made me so sad that my country lost their source of entertainment and education when Disney Channel went off air in the early dawn of October 1, 2021 at 1 o'clock in the morning in Philippine time zone and 12 midnight in Indonesia time zone. My childhood has been ruined after all of this. Luckily, I had a lot of memories of it since childhood until today, and I was also excited that Disney Plus, in partnership provider as Disney Plus Hotstar will come out very soon. And I am also worried that my rivals and troublemaking people in this land are celebrating Disney Asia TV channel's closure, which is very heartless. I hope they will learn a lesson that celebrating a television network closure is very heartless and very disrespectful towards the company business staff, and most of the troublemaking people People who celebrated the closure were grounded by the parents and revoking their access to social media until further notice. I am glad that the parents did the right thing about it. I hope one day the country enjoys the Disney stories again. And to all the troublemaking people who are celebrating the TV network closure of Disney Channel Asia and Disney Junior Asia, if you are all watching this, you should be ashamed of yourself for doing such a traumatizing thing ever towards the staff of the Walt Disney Company. That was the worst thing you ever done after the two channels being shut down in Southeast Asia. You even ruined other people's childhoods and only care for yourselves and not the others like you are supposed to. You should be grounded by your parents for this kind of heartless attitude towards the Walt Disney Company. And you most of the troublemakers are not gonna be allowed to watch anything made in Southeast Asia, including China, North Korea, Japan, and Afghanistan, and you will be pushed to watch Disney content when Disney Plus Hotstar comes out in our country, including TV shows from Disney Channel, Disney XD and Disney Junior. Hope this news flash will teach you a lesson not to celebrate TV network closure. It is same as celebrating real life people's deaths. I know it is just a TV network, but still, it is still heartless no matter what the reason, in other words, at all costs. Thank you Ethan McAllen for your time. Our second interviewee will be G. Brian Lardera, a Filipino boy who is currently residing in Bangkok, Thailand. Jude, tell us your thoughts about the shutdown issue. Well, I was playing some games on my PC, and then suddenly, I saw a news notification on my PC screen saying that Disney Channel Asia was closing down entirely, and it made me feel so sad. When I was 10, I was being manipulated to hate on some shows from Disney Junior for no reason other than because other people do it, which was very wrong of me to do that, and then on 2019, I became too hostile towards that channel because of Riley doing the same, using invalid reasons to hate most of the shows from that channel, which I fully regretted, and then I called some of my friends traitors all because they defend some TV channels I didn't stand, which was also very wrong of me to do that, and then in 2020, I felt so guilty after all of this in 2016 to 2020, and now, I starting to like most of these shows from Disney Junior, including the ones from my childhood. I felt like I was taking the hate boner towards that channel way too seriously and treated it like it's worse than Hitler, which is so wrong at all, and now, I felt ashamed and very sorry, I am so sad that Disney Channel was shut down in my region. 
I did all of this because I cannot handle anything for preschoolers and claiming that I was too old for them, and I use the overused term called baby shows, which is so unrealistic, and in conclusion, all of these things I did these years were so immature of me, I hope they will enjoy these magical stories from Disney once again very soon, and that's the end of my story. Thank you, Jude Bryan, for your time, and I forgive you for all of these immature actions you did in those years. are the two twin children who'd like to share their story, Julie Wallow and Jake Wallow. Jake and Julie, tell us your story about the Disney Channel Asia shutdown. Well, while we were watching Frozen on Disney Channel, I saw the text on TV saying that Disney Channel will be shut down this day, and I made us cry because we are big fans of Disney, and throughout our live week, we were exposed to Disney Junior mostly because we want to learn something good that the other kids like us, of all ages, should do. One of our favorite shows on Disney Channel, Disney Junior were Sophia the First, Henry Huggle Monster, Doc McStuffins, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, Van Perina, and Fancy Nancy. Yeah, I agree with my brother, Disney Junior is mostly our favorite channel of all time, and it gives us knowledge and education that kids like us we should get, and it gives up inspiration and aspiration to our dreams when we grow up. Luckily, our parents will cheer us up so soon, and we also had our stuffed animals related to the channel, including Dog McStuffins, Vampirina, Fancy Nancy, Mayor Royal Detective, Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse and Winnie the Pooh, and we hope our country will see the stories from Disney once again. Thank you Jake and Julie for your time. And now, we have a special guest interviewing the little bit smarty 7 year old Zachary Hedner. Little Zachary, share with us your thoughts about Disney Channel Asia shutdown. Well, me and my siblings were enjoying the marathon shows from Disney Junior, my all-time favorite TV channel next to Disney XD and mostly PBS Kids. I became too super upset that Disney Channel was shut down this day earlier. My all-time favorite show ever on those two channels is a little Einstein, because I love to sing and make music. When I grow up, I want to be a musician. When I was six years old, I became interested in the block on Disney Junior titled when I grow up, and I became involved on it at that time. I even had my favorite character that I was to play and learn, as well as Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, Vampirina, PBJ Otter, Doc McStuffins and my friend Tigger. And now, my childhood today is ruined because the channel I watched since when I was a toddler was gone forever. Even my family is very sad because my family are big fans of Disney, and so do I a lot more. I can get some Disney stories again when we get Disney Plus in our media devices, including our smart TV. In conclusion, Disney Junior is the best children's TV channel for preschoolers, and it gives children powers and abilities to learn and grow thought play. But luckily, I had some stuffed toys related to Disney Junior, including my Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse dolls when I was 5 years old on Christmas back in 2019 at PB and J Otter. Back when I graduated preschool in the following year 2020, the stuffed toys of the little Einsteins and special agent Osu that I got on my birthday when I turned 6 years old back in 2020, and my wedding to prove that there when I turned 7 years old on my birthday, which I am now, last April 2021, and I played pretend related to those shows as well back in 2017 and so on. And that's all I would like to say about it, thank you sir. Thank you, Zachary Edna, for your special time. And what grade are you in? I am in second grade. Okay, Zachary Edna, you may now leave. And that's all for the interviewees we have tonight. But fear not, people. DBHX two new free TV channels on both free to air and cable. DBHX Kids 1 and DBHX Kids 2 will officially begin broadcasting next week. Most of the programming lineup will have shows from both Disney Channel and Disney Junior. To recover up the entertainment from Disney after their in-house channels were shut down. So, a lot of many people who grew up watching Disney channels in Southeast Asia and including new children who started to become Disney fans as well were very sad and disappointed. We hope they will find other ways to watch these Disney content again. Thank you very much for watching this special primetime news report. For now, let's go for a commercial break for about 10 minutes, and then we will check for the current recent weather updates around the world. Stay tuned on Metro Media TV 1 and Metro Media TV 2 for more news stories of the day. We will be right back after the break. <laughs> 